Welcome back, you two. It is a great day to be different. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to show you guys how to be different. We have a very, 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 very tough texture, man. We're going to get my man's a nice ball mid fade, nice stretched out ball mid fade. But first things first. We're gonna comb brush lay everything down. We are searching for any type of inconsistencies or anything that's gonna prevent us from giving this man a nice haircut. But we're gonna go right into the debulking stage and we're going in with the four guard all the way open against the grain. We're trying to get this as even as possible. He has a calic at the front, right part of his edge up when you're looking at it on the left side of his edge up and he kind of has light spots on the corners as well. So the hair texture is tough. The hairline is tough. The client is tough. This is very, very tough. This is not easy. So uh, you guys should enjoy this one. But again, we're debulking, going against the grain, making sure it's nice and even. There you go. You can get a good look at that calic right there. Oh man, look how patchy the front edge up is. This is a... Uh, yeah, this is a task right here, but we're going to go straight into the fade process after we debulk and boom, we're going to punch in that bald line. Again, it's a mid fade and again, his hair texture is very, very tough. So we're going to give ourselves a little bit of room to stretch this fade out. So we're going to start a little bit lower than normal. Normally in mid fade, I will usually aim at the bottom of the vertical bar. But as you can see, I'm a little bit lower than that. So we're going to stretch this out, give us some room to fade and give us a little room for error. That way we can correct it if we have to. We're gonna ball this out nice and clean. Punching in this line, in this hair texture, I would very much advise not to use your hitters because it is going to absolutely leave a mark and it will absolutely tattoo a line all the way across that is gonna be very, very hard to get out. So these JRLs are zero gap, but they are not hitters. They absolutely melt when it comes to balding the hair, but it does not hit. So it's very easy to get this ball line out. Yes, sir, we're gonna clean them up. Nice and even. We're gonna walk this to the other side, make sure it matches. Then we're gonna move on to the no guard all the way open. And we're gonna go up about an inch. As you can see, my boy is excited already. He already know what kind of haircut he about to get. He already know. We're going to walk this following the initial guideline, the initial bald line. We're going up about an inch and walking this all the way to the other side. As you can see right there, if you have to go over certain spots multiple times, I would highly recommend you want to make sure that your canvas is nice and clean. You want to make sure your guidelines are nice and clean and set in there. Very important. It's gonna help in the long run. After we set that in, we're gonna go to the next step. One guard, second notch, we're gonna go about another inch. As you can see right there, going over certain spots multiple, multiple times, making sure it's nice, even, and clean. The cleaner the canvas, the better. Remember I told you guys that hair moves. So as you can see, as I'm brushing it down, the hair just basically just lays right back down. It's almost as the teeth is pushing the hair rather than combing and cutting the hair. So I have to go over this multiple, multiple times before it is nice and clean. So very important to have a brush or a comb with you while you were doing this process while you're doing any process. The first step is to comb and brush, so you shouldn't put that brush or comb down the entire haircut, in my opinion. But well, that's on you guys. We're gonna move on to the one and a half guard. We're gonna start off closed. And as you can see, we are using nothing but our corners. Represented down there at the bottom right, 
with the feather we're using our feather technique as you can see as i get a little higher starting to tilt and over exaggerate the clipper using nothing but that right corner right there and feathering out the bulk this is going to help me blend using the curvature of his head and using my feather technique it helps me blend hit brush hit brush hit brush hit brush very very important yes sir and we're going to walk this all the way to the other side and it's almost automatically going to start blending now again he does have a lighter spot right there on his right corner as you can tell when you move closer to the edge up so getting the darker spots all the way around the ridge to match up with the corners of his edge up it, it requires some some detail man it requires a lot of detail so especially before you put the enhancements on it because it wants to you want it to be as faded and blended as possible before you enhance the haircut that's what the enhancements are for just to make it look a little bit better but you don't want it to cover up you don't want it to fix any mistakes now if you have enhancements to fix other barbers mistakes which i have a lot of clients that come in that i have to cover up mistakes from other barbers but you don't want to have to cover up your own mistakes so we want to blend this as much as possible slap the enhancements on it and call it a day after we throw that one and a half guard off we're going to jump right into the half guard the 0.5 then we're going to start off closed work our way up midway and then eventually all the way open as you can see using that lever work very important from here on out lever work is very 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 important we'll make a difference we're continuing our feather technique using nothing but the corners as you can see how over exaggerated the clipper is the over exaggerated tilt very important Yes, sir, we're attacking nothing but the dark spots using nothing but your corners. Hit, brush, hit, brush, hit, brush. Very, very, very important. You see the fade coming along already. We're gonna snap that half guard off, drop down to the no guard. We're going to attack that bald line. We're going to start off closed. Work our way up. Hit that lever, as you can see right there. Work our way up midway. Then eventually all the way open. As you can see that line coming right on out. Using nothing but your corners. As you can see right there. If you have to backtrack to go back to the half guard, the higher you go up, don't be afraid. I know the steps are there to help you blend, but if you have to go back, it's not an issue, as you can see right there. Boom. Especially with this type of hair texture. Man. Jeez. You can see that fade coming nice and neat. But here goes the back and also the other side. It's the exact same steps. I'm gonna let you guys have it and we will be back for the edge up process.
All right, well, we are back for the edge up. It's a much better look at how difficult this hairline is about to be. And very much like the rest of the hair, the hairline moves as soon as you tap it. It just retracts as soon as it feels any type of pressure on it. But we're gonna we're gonna treat this like any other regular edge up. We're gonna start right in the middle. We're gonna we're gonna walk it to the left side. Doesn't matter which side you walk to first. I'm usually standing on the left, based off of the way my station is set up. But then we're gonna go back to the middle, and then we're gonna walk it to the right side to get it to match the left. Hairline is absolutely crazy. Sir, we're gonna make sure it's nice and even. We're gonna tack that corner. Walk it back to the middle to make sure it's even, nice and clean. Tapping and going. Punch in that vertical bar. Use the pencil for some contour. Yes sir, clean them off with the brush. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Make sure that corner is nice. Attack that vertical bar, throw some pencil on it for some contour. Make sure it's nice and clean, nice and even. Then we're gonna move on to the enhancement stage. So we're gonna lay down a wet base first. This is gonna give me a foundation for the dry fibers that I'll follow right behind up with, as you can see right here. It's gonna give the dry fibers something to stick to. Nice foundation, as you can see right there, wet fibers, excuse me, wet enhancements, follow up with the fibers, the dry fibers. And yes, sir. Wet enhancements gonna give the dry fibers to stick to and the dry fibers is going to get rid of that wet, shiny look from the wet enhancements. It's gonna fill in a lot better, look a lot better. Very important for pictures and videos. So it's not shiny and reflective. As you can see, we're gonna clean that up just a little bit. Throw some hot sauce on them. That's gonna allow me to push that pencil over to give it that razor blade effect without having to use a razor. Very important for those barbers who aren't comfortable with using a razor just yet. You can still get that razor blade look without having to use a razor. Tapping the trigger, sweeping the nozzle. Very, very important. It's gonna prevent you from caking and over applying, keeping the wet enhancements from running. Always moving the trigger, always moving the nozzle. Lay the foundation, follow up with dry fibers, get rid of that wet, shiny look, and boom. Looks a lot more natural, in my opinion. Hit them with some hot sauce, push that pencil over for some contour. Ooh, sheesh, look at how that pencil moved. Ugh. Ugh, that just does something to me. Oh my gosh. But look at the angle. Yes, sir, we're gonna clean the, clean the beard up just a little bit. But the fade looks crazy. The fade looks crazy. You guys let me know what you think about this angle in the comments. Let me know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we use the one and a half on the beard and then we use the number one guard on the mustache. And we're gonna fade. We're gonna fade the top of the beard out. Just like you would fading the top, a regular haircut, just in the opposite direction. Start off closed, midway, then all the way open eventually. Don't 
forget to get underneath that the next strip push that out of the way gonna punch that line in nice and clean nice and crispy moving that ear out of the way yes sir I'm gonna throw some pencil on it for some contour get it to pop just a little bit more make sure that line is nice and sharp using the brush to clean off any excessive hair any wild hairs we're gonna set in that line the top of the beard we don't want to push it I'm trying to keep it as full as possible throw some pencil on it for some contour and we're gonna follow right on up with some hair fibers as you can see right there we're attacking nothing but the light spots boom you see it's darker at the bottom so we're gonna keep that that transition Darker at the bottom, tacking nothing but the lighter spots, filling it in. Boom. Throw some hairspray so that the fibers will stick. It won't move. Let that dry. Notice the finger placement. Finger placement when it comes to facial detail work, very important. Fingers on the chin, helping me control the trimmer. Stretch the cheek back so you can get inside the lip right there. Pause. And then we're going to use the razor blade to push that pencil down, get it to pop. Stretching the skin, 45 degree angle. that pencil down yes sir That's same thing on the other side man look at that fade oh my gosh at this point if you don't like that fade at this part of the video you just hate it I don't care what you're talking about that's clean we don't even care about the beard no more. Let's just admire the fame for the rest of the video. Beard, the beard, the beard gonna do what it's gonna do. <laughs> the beard gonna do what it's gonna do. But that fade, that's all me, baby. Yes, sir. But we're gonna throw some fibers on them, darken it up, hit them with the hairspray, get the fibers to stick. Hit you with a different angle. Yes, sir. Same exact thing as the other side. We're just matching it. We're mirroring it. Copy and pasting. Easy day. Actually, not. Not easy day. This is not easy at all. It's not easy at all. I'm gonna throw that razor blade on him. Man. Clean them up. Yes, sir. You guys let me know. This may be random, but let me know what your favorite trimmers, your favorite clippers, or whatever you guys like, you guys are using. It's just random. Just throw it in the comment for me. Let me know what you guys like to use on the facial hair. What trimmers is y'all's go to? Cause it's, it's it's tough finding a nice set of trimmers that's not gonna eat the face off, but still detail and hit like you want it to. We're gonna use these shears for some cleanup work, hitting any hairs, any wild, loose, stray hairs that's gonna affect this haircut from different angles. But we're gonna hand them in the mirror. Look at his reaction. Look at him. Ooh. Hey, hey, boss. Let me holler at you. Look. I don't know what the hell you just did, but do that every time, just like that. <laughs> just like that. Did you guys remember what he came in looking like? Yes, sir, you guys remember. See, that boy came to be absolutely different. 
Jeez. But he don't even smile no more. He he completely different. But he still. Still. The boy like get every good angle. I ain't gonna move. They gotta see this. They gotta see this. Hey, like, share, subscribe, comment, man. It's crispy and that's crispy. We out. Peace.